Your boy bought a coffee machine. I want to let you know. I've prepared for us today what I like to call a coffee jump scare. Since it is the spooky month, I figure, uh, you know, the, the occasional jump scare is, is uh, appropriate. So here's how it works. I got a coffee machine. The coffee machine has a built-in grinder. Uh, the coffee machine is uh, programmable. So I have set it for a random time that will occur during stream to start brewing my fresh cup of coffee for midstream. Uh, that means it will start grinding my beans. And the grind sound is pretty loud. Um, so at a, 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 you know, a random interval time during stream, we will get a coffee jump scare. The best part about this is, uh, though I do know what time the coffee jump scare will occur. I will forget a hundred percent, and so the the coffee jump scare will, of course, uh, spook myself as well. So, coffee machine, bro, enjoy cleaning it. I do. It's a ritual. Also, I don't have to clean it very often. I get about five cups of coffee out of this thing before uh, before I have to think about cleaning it. Hamilton Beach? No, I got it. It's a it's a. What make is it? Uh, Cuisinart. It's a Cuisinart. You should have done that coffee jump scare during Subnautica. Well, I mean, both streams are spooky themed. I can always set the jump, the coffee jump scare up again. Imagine if I was like really just like a professional streamer, and I could get this coffee machine grinder thing going, uh, like on chat's command. So like someone, could, you know, like I could get the whole, the, the donation thing going on. And also chat is full of people who have money for some reason. And they're like, yo, 20 bucks. And then the, the coffee machine just like, and then I'm like, holy, holy crap. I need, I'm turning that off now instantly. Oh, you can keep the 20 bucks. I'm good actually. I'm glad you don't have to microwave Tim Hortons anymore. Well, I mean, I still microwave my coffee. I make it. I make a full carafe of coffee, and then I have you know coffee hanging out in the carafe for a couple of days. Uh, and so I, 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 you know, I, I, I still microwave my coffee. I knew um, at some point that this conversation was going to come up. You know, I mentioned the coffee machine. We're we're going to talk about coffee. And how I drink it wrong. <laughs> Chat sponsored heart attack speedrun. Uh, Bimple dies speedrun any percent. I will make sure to share my games. So look at this. I, I have the no grind mod checked. It's checked off. But it doesn't seem to work. So I don't know. Subnautica and Prey isn't scary also. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I promise spooky games. I didn't necessarily uh, promise scary games. Uh, there is a difference. Scary is subjective. Spooky is objective. And objectively, Subnautica and Prey are pretty spooky. So, case closed. Bimple has spoken. Plus seven dollars. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Hello, Kevbo. Hello, Jared. Hello, Mimesis. Hello, Andrino. Hello, RBG. Sorry, RGB. RGB, do you mind if I start calling you CM, CMYK as a, as a nickname? The fact that that check mark is backwards it sickens me. I know, right? A little bit myself as well. <laughs> Plot twist, Bimple's new coffee maker is literally just a new microwave. Open the... Open the gonna get struck down. YouTube's gonna strike me. Music is bad. Ba 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 ba. Mayo is spicy then. Sure. Uh, I found a bang energy drinks for a dollar each. Raised up. So um, I used to go to a university. Not for school. No, no. Bimple is quite ignorant, you see. Um, no, I went to a university because they had a very good cafeteria. And it made for an excellent space for me and my chumos to play uh, your resident nerd 
crap uh, dungeons and or dragons. I like to I like to add that or in there because you know not dragons are not guaranteed. They are a promise, but they are not a guarantee. You can call me F for SMT. All right. Um. Anyway, we used to play the Dungeons and or Dragons in the this university cafeteria. I have a few stories about said cafeteria. I'm going to do some smooth brain uh, library of Ruina first and foremost. Let's try one of these these buds here. Um, just just give me a second to get set set up, and then uh, I'll start telling you my story. I guess I'm gonna have to read something, aren't I? Oh, oh, sorry. Not it's not a that's not a sigh of I don't want to. It's a sigh of uh, we're gonna delay my story for a moment. Salutations, everyone. Let us begin with today's worship session. It appears that we have a new worshiper. What concerns have brought you here to our oratory? I don't think I can continue living in the city anymore. It's too much for me. What could have overwhelmed you so much? Everything is so dreary, and so is my life. Yo. You gotta get on that Sigma grind set, my dude. Anyone can become famous if, so long as you're willing to, uh, you know, dunk your head in some slime or something. I don't know. What are the kids doing on TikTok these days? Uh, OD on Adderall. Uh, new OD on Adderall challenge. Speed run to the hospital. Any percent. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> That's them foaming at the mouth. I wake up at 6 in the morning, so go to work by 8 and do the w same work with the same face every single day. By the time I leave work, it's already 10 in the evening. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. I abuse student discounts still to this day, even when I go into uni. Anyone up to gather some money and give Bimple potionomics so he can cover it? I wish I could get a key for that game. Do I do I would do yo it's full stop office they are gonna carry you through the game oh nice I have so many expenses to cover every single month I can't seem to get any richer yo dude you just don't have enough passive income it's called passive income all you gotta do is you got all you do is you go to Amazon uh, and you check the trending audiobook tags okay and then you go to Fiverr and you commission a dude to write you a book for uh, 2,000 words uh, for a penny and then you, you write a book on those tags and then you pay a dude like $3 to um, narrate that book, uh, ghostwrite, narrate, and then uh, you pay a, an artist uh, like myself $2 to do a full mural uh, cover for that book and then you sell that book on audible.com and then you will get that passive income man it's all about that sigma grind set you don't understand you're just you're just you're not you're not, you're not thinking about that passive income you're just not on the right the, the, the right grind you got to get on that grind my dude this is the wrong you, come on i have so many expenses yeah whatever you're you're a whiner <laughs> You say you've tried, you haven't tried hard enough. Everyone I see during my commute has the same face. Uh, instead of Into the Gloom, you should play a Little Misfortune. Alright, chat Chat has spoken. Um, chat would really prefer I play a Little Misfortune. They really want that Little Misfortune. And I have said in the past that I am uh, a, a people pleaser. And I think that probably chat would just be happy if I did Little Misfortune. So... Of course, I, I will, um, I, I will, what's the term? Um, abide? I will abide. I don't see why we work, why we earn money, or why we live. This is why you're suffering, dude. Because you're not working and you're not earning that money. You gotta be earning that money all the time. Gotta get that passive income. Gotta be writing those audiobooks. I don't, you don't understand. It's all about them audiobooks, dude. No one knows. The audi Audible is the new secret. No one knows about it. I feel like I've lost my goal, my purpose. I'm just like a cogwheel. Yeah, I really am. I'm living like a cog in the machine. Even if I were gone, this city would soon find another cog to replace me. Sigma from Se Mega Man X grind set? Yeah, you, get, you figured it out. You don't have spending problems, you have working problems. Uh, grind set in the Church of Gears. Yo, we did it. You know... 
Uh, Bimple, the cool new drug of 2022 isn't Adderall. It's fentanyl. Oh, God. Uh, I have a f horror story about fentanyl, which I can never tell. So, enough of that. Where does my worth lie? I understand that feeling. Everyone in the city is like a gear spinning along without a purpose. Yo, you have a literal gear embedded in your cranium. Uh, I don't know if you really should be the authority on this one. I feel like uh, you know you're 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 selling some Kool Aid. I'd like a little misfortune eventually, but you mentioned you felt saturated. No, I didn't feel saturated necessarily. I just felt like the, a, a small break would be welcomed so that we don't all collectively burn out on the genre of the Franbo genre, you know. But I'm I'm happy I'm happy to to do it. I did like Franbo a lot and. I know that it would make uh, you know a, a lot of y'all happy, so I, I'm I'm happy to do that. Do we want to swap out feels as well? I, I I'm enjoying feels, and I and there's plenty of time for it. We'll do like an hour ish of library. Uh, I've got some stuff, not some fun stuff prepared for the middle segment. Um, some games we can check out, and uh, we could probably start um, Little Misfortune in in like three ish hours. What's Little Misfortune? Little Misfortune is by the same people who made Franbo. Please share your favorite co-op uh, roguelikes, roguelites with us. There aren't a lot of very good ones. I think Streets of Rogue is probably the best one. I, I, I am actually not familiar with a lot of very good co-op roguelites um, or lo roguelikes. I mean, you could say that, you know, Enter the Gungeon maybe. Uh, or Binding of Isaac, but I haven't really played them co-op very often, and and I honestly prefer, I don't I don't I don't I don't think uh, co-op roguelites are for me. There is um, what's it called? Something of Rampage. I did play a little bit of that, and I did like that one. Rampage. Rampage Knights. Rampage Knights. Knights was pretty good. I believe that is multiplayer. And then there was Lost Castle, and that one's also pretty good. They're fun, um, kind of like Castle Crashers as a roguelike uh, games, and I think they're they're worth your time, for sure. Uh, Kevbo, that's too many emojis. YouTube hated you. Oh, uh, also, the content of what you said there uh, got you shadow banned, for sure. Sorry. Everyone in the city is spinning like a gear. Staying in the middle of it wears you out slowly. You're right, I really feel like that. However... It is necessary, necessarily a bad thing to be a gear. And here it is. Also, Little Misfortune is very different from Fan Franbo. Okay, how did Franbo end? Um, that's a complicated question. Uh, literally, she left to go back to the fantasy realm with her favorite friend, Cat on the magical dragon and her friend mr itman or whatever his name was the skeleton who was really a good guy and trying to help her and and she lived happily ever after uh but um metaphorically speaking probably she did she, she she probably she did i don't know i don't know there's a lot of things that happened at the end of franbo she got shot by someone i think it was it was it was a lot. Are you sure it wasn't the Wincest? Hmm. Thank you, Bimple. No worries. I have R red R O R two and across the obelisk. I would like to play R across the obelisk, but I, I don't know. I've heard mixed things. We are a bit burnt out on burnt out of those games. Um, what kind of roguelike are you looking for is really the question. What kind of roguelike do you want to play with friends? Did she get pilled to death? <laughs> Did she get pilled to death? She took the, uh, the TikTok fentanyl challenge. <laughs> That's a bad joke, but yeah. Franbo died. I mean, maybe she died. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she went to the fantasy heaven. Who knows? A story like that surely won't end happily. 
I really enjoyed Franbo. Franbo really is just like Alice in Wonderland's messed up little sister, and uh, I appreciated that about it. Um, it really is just kind of a fun romp, if you could call it that. It's a fun, disturbing romp, and sometimes being disturbed is also fun. You know, like, look at Scorn. I think Scorn is uh, a great game for being disturbed, and pleasantly so. You know, like, ooh, look at this messed up little thing over here. What does that do? Oh, good. It it 100% like does a bad thing. I'm going to watch that. Eats popcorn. That's not popcorn. Ho oh, ho, what does it do? <laughs> I typed the whole text just so my smiley face would get channel banned. Uh f Fulan, but what it what? Kids usually don't like 38 in their chat. Mm. Is it necessarily a bad thing to be a gear? Huh? All problems stem from the refusal to admit to the face, to the fact that we are indeed gears ourselves. It, I did it too, once. After my father passed away, I lost my way for a while. You see, my father lived his life akin to a gear wheel. He'd always wake up at the same hour to go to the same place and come home at the same time with the same face. My father did research on gears. His goal was uh, to solve the same type of problems you're going through. Perhaps he unknowingly grew to resemble the single object he studied for so long. The wrinkles on his forehead d deepened as he worked. They resembled the teeth of a gear. My father lived out his whole life as a rusted gear of the city until he was murdered by someone else. Oh. Then one day I came across a thought. Maybe we really are gears that constitute the city. Maybe our suffering comes from de trying to deny our own identity. But that kind of life is pointless. I'm tired of being a purposeless cog that keeps running day by day. Exactly. The problem is that you see yourself as an aimless gear. You mean gears can have a purpose? Oh, yes, of course they can. All we need to do is find the purpose we were born to mesh with. <laughs> Guy walks into a church of gears to cry about how bad he feels about being, feeling like a gear in the machine. Bimple reading I'm a 10 or Kevbo messages. Nice. Kids use, yeah. Nice. That's the, that's the new thing, Andrino. You found it. New meme acquired. Smiley face. I mean, mine are less dirty and more cheeky. Angel face. Nice. You shall become a unique gear that cannot be replaced by any other. We are all gears. There are simply so many gears in this world wallowing in sadness, for they have yet to know where and how to be. You'll cut to the chase, lady. When do we get to the throwing the guy into some kind of gear machine and, and turning him into some abomination? When is that happening? That's happening soon, right? That's It's still hard to believe that. Take a look at the, all the people gathered here. Do they have the same face as the ones you've seen in your everyday life? Oh, it's the funny cult leader. <laughs> No, they all look happy. Please, trust in me. Yes, this is the only way I have. Now come up here, I will give you the purpose. Yes, gear machine, put him in it. Grind him. Grind him into pulp. Oh, yo, Bimple called it. Mm, very predictable. What are we doing? How, how, how many gears are we going to embed into your cranium today, sir? Ooh, three. Let me go for the the TikTok cog challenge, please. Uh, hit me up with three or four car, cog gears in the face, please. Nee. Yes, take a seat Tony and relax. Know. This chair will <laughs> tell you what kind of gear you are. Is this really safe? No, you know it's not. No, no machine that like put is over your head like this is safe. When <laughs> we get to the good part. When do we get to the good part? Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I being too loud for you? Sorry, there's a gremlin on my lap and he did not like how loud I was just now. Of course it is. Oh my, you turned out to be a thought gear. A thought gear? It is exceedingly rare for one to be bestowed with the purpose of a thought gear, you see. They are helping me even now. For your information, my father was also a thought gear. That means those gears on the back, back of your head are... This one is my father. He always provides me with his wisdom about life. And now I'm going to need your wisdom. We're going to have to take that gear out of you, sir. 
Besides, meat gears ten. What do you mean, meat gears? <laughs> meat ge <laughs> Nothing good in this world is called a meat gear. <laughs> Need to keep company with at least one thought gear. Wait, am I really going to turn into a gear? The pain is only temporary. My dude, you have every opportunity to run right now. These are all red flags. You know they are. Don't, like, come on. It will soon be followed with pure fulfillment. Everyone, let us welcome the honorable and invaluable arrival of the new thought gear. Oh. Is he just a, a blood explosion? That's a good sound. I didn't know this would happen. Really? You really didn't? You really didn't know that this would happen? I think... I, I really think that you had... The, the, the writing was on the, the wall on this one. I think the gears were on the wall for this one. Hello, Jesse. Hey, finally caught a live stream. Hey, how are you doing? Eileen flipped the gear. Check the... Ch <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, uh, press, press the button over there. Well, hold on. Let me get you, Bimple. Hold on. Oh, well, what, well, what are you gonna do? Why are you putting this thing on my face? Is that, is this a good, is this a good face thing you're putting on, on my head? And, and, and face? All right. No, no, no. It's a, it's a bad thing. I'm gonna tell you right now. This is actually gonna hurt a lot. Um, you're gonna feel an immense amount of pain. More pain, probably, than uh, than anyone should feel, but uh, afterwards it's gonna be fine. Oh, well, why is that? Why, why are... what? What do you mean? What do you mean it's gonna be fine? I... how could this possibly be fine? Because you, you, after your words, you're not, you're not gonna feel anything, actually. Oh, okay, alright, push the button then. There you go. As the gears turn, so too does life fulfill its cycle. <laughs> this man's gonna become a pumpkin. <laughs> what? I thought our whole st shtick was about gears and stuff. Why is he becoming a pumpkin? <laughs> this is what happened to poor Bimple. He got a face head machine put on his head face, and then they turned him into a pumpkin. They put, they pulled the the spooky switch and and turned Bimple into a, a poor Frankenstein pumpkin. So that's Eileen, called leader of the Church of Gears. Who are these people? I think I've met them before, actually. I've seen all kinds of gears in my life, but thought gears are new to me. <clears throat> this must be the rumored ritual of theirs. They get smarter by plugging gears on the back of their heads, apparently. That's a load of horseshit. Yo, bad words were spoken today. Alright, let's see. Director Yujin from the Shi Association asked us to kill ten worshippers of the church, neutralize its leader, and secure her. I didn't quite expect the director of Shi Association's Section 2 to personally give our office a request. Something strange might be up. How long are we gonna sit and watch that? Can't we start shooting now? Wait for my sign. Ah, what a beautiful thought gear you have become. I will give you the honor of accompanying me. Oh, there it is. He's, he's a thought gear on her head now. You shall soon understand how happy it is to be a gear with a purpose. Yes, it may take some time to adjust. Let us start with turning bit by bit. Good. Along with the others, gently rotate one cycle at a time. My father will gladly help you out. See, it does make you feel happy, doesn't it? I am very glad to know you are happy. The, um, this world seems to be obsessed with turning people into objects. You know, we got a library turning people into books, and these people are turning people into gears. A lot of other people are turning themselves into robots. Bad words were spoken here today. Uh, kill 10 worshippers, is that a fetch quest? Yes, you will get 139 gold and 60 experience points. First goon pages. Finally, Ruina turns into FPS. Shoot goon. Nice. My dear followers, today another lost gear has found its way to happiness. Praise be to Father. 
Praise me. What do you mean, be careful? No. What is going on? I was worried about meeting her parents, but damn, this took a strange turn. Worshipper one who ended up being such a small gear, right? <laughs> Well, you know, it's it's not about size. I hear that um, six-inch gears are actually like the ideal size, after, you know, in the end. Uh, radius. Wait, what? What is it? Radius is that the the part that go, starts? In... The poor gears don't do this. Whoever you are, please leave us alone. We simply wanted to live a happy life, following our destined purposes. Why is their slippery leader so hard to hit? She doesn't seem to be dodging the bullets with her own reflexes. It's as if someone, something else is predicting the trajectories for her. Those thought gears on her head are spinning like crazy. Damn it, this sucks. We paid an arm and a leg for these bullets. Did you turn someone's arm and leg into bullets? Is that what that means? All right, is your association like the bullet farmers? Um, and you turn people into bullets? Tamaki. Think we can read the movement patterns of those gears? Can do. Oh, it looks like your thought. What? When did she get a third gear? When did that happen? Also, it seems like none of the thought gears in the world could stop a bullet. Grazed her shoulder. I'll finish her off. You're not gonna finish anyone off. Oh, apparently they could stop bullets. <laughs> Never mind. Bullet crafted by Atelier Logic. Why? Those are some expensive bullets you have there, don't you, friends? I knew it. They are people. They they literally turned arms and legs into bullets. No bullets are really pricey in the city. I know they weren't literally turned into bullets. I, I, know, I know. The blue reverberation. You are. Could you be the person my father always talked about? I guess. Say, I need you right now. Would you like to come with me? Yes, of course. I've been waiting for you my whole life. Uh, a perfect fit with the gear that is me. Why, thank you. <laughs> no, you don't. But first, these friends need some attention. Pluto, could you look after Aileen in the meantime? Run. The hell is going on? Why would the blue, ver 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 blue reverberation be here? No idea, damn it. It looks like he's trying to kill us. Why do all bimple streams I watch on phone tell me he's playing FNAF. I have no idea. I've only literally played FNAF once in my life and it was on Desura. Remember Desura everyone? Yeah, me neither. Desura is gone. Um, but yeah, I've never played FNAF on my channel or stream. And I don't think I ever will. Damn it, it looks like he's trying to kill us. If we screw this job up, we're gonna be bankrupt from all the bullets we've wasted. As known as Blue Cycle Psycho, he we will see that dude a lot. All games are actually related to the FNAF story. You could sell your entire body for one bullet that can get deflected by some random, <laughs> random blue boy. Yo, what would win? Uh, a bullet that costs an entire house or one blue lad? You literally just saw the blue reverberation deflect our bullets. We're no match for him in any way. Forget about anything else. We should run away and survive for now. We are almost to the exit. Hiya, friends. That's quite the weapon you have there. Why do lads like these always have scythes? Enemy is obsessed with scythes. I wish it would stop. What, a, what happened to good old-fashioned kukuri? I want to see more anime wielding kukuri. No more so, friendship ended with sides. Uh, new friendship started with kukuri. Best friend is kukuri. Why? Hi, friends. Who could have made such an adorable little request? I wonder. Ah, oh, hell, to the left. Pant. Pant. You're not getting anywhere with your sluggish feet, don't you see? You gotta replace your feet with bullets, see? Oh, sh he shot himself towards us, oh my god. Unless the lifeline were to come down from the heavens, that is no. Damn it, maybe we should drop our guns. Are you nuts? These are hella expensive. We're never throwing them away. We can't hide forever either. By the way, this is... 
What's that? An in invitation from the library or whatever? Heard that the Hana designated it as an urban plague now. Lots of writers, but especially Asians, seem to have an extreme affection to oversized scythes and swords. I don't mind swords. There's nothing more, you know, standard than a sword. It's, you know, it's, it's transcended um, cliche at this point. G giant sword. I mean, we'll never, like, we can't beat Berserk at this point, right? Someone could uh, could put a giant sword in an anime, but if it even approaches Berserk, like, it'll fly too close to the Berserk sun, then people will be like, well, who's this Berserk wannabe? Who is this Guts wannabe? That's not, that's not Guts. You can't wield a sword like that. Um, I, I, lo I love Berserk. It's great. Lots of writers. Uh, are there any good retro platformers on Steam? Many. The last really good one I played was called... Something Zero. Uh, but, 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 Super Mega Zero. I really like Super Mega Zero. It's one of the best recent, like, multi... Um, kind of uh, retro platformers I've played. It's very inexpensive, and it's it's... Very underlooked. I don't know why people are really over uh, um, overlooking this one and sleeping on it. It's a, it's a great game. Look at you, all clustered together in the corner. You're like a flock of cute little chicks gathered around in the cold. Tell that to Cloud's giant steak knives and Squall's moronic gunblade. Eh. Speak not of not to me uh, of. This fantasy you speak of, this 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 one, this fantasy th that is final. I, I know not. I have no knowledge of that universe, nor do I want it. Blue reverberation. We apologize if we interrupted your business. We promise to forget about anything we've seen and heard here. So could you let us go? Huh? What? Okay. Under one condition. Can you tell me who gave you this request? I'll give you ten seconds. Cool. Nine. Whatevs, Layway, do something with that invitation thing. Six. Anyone got a pen? We need something to sign the paper with. You can use mine. Take your time now. Four. Crazy bastard. Si quick, sign your names here. Three. Now, the real show is only beginning, wouldn't you agree? Oh! Yo, it's it's Dr. Itward. What are you doing here? How How is, how is it... What? <clears throat> the blue reverberation. That name sounds familiar. To the red mist. You got that right. Both of them are top grade fixies that received a color from the Hannes Asso Association. They're cut above grade one. It's curious that such a capable fixer showed up so early. I would like to see like a map of like all of the, the like the the kind of um, grades and casts in this game. Quick memo on how guns work in this world. To deflect ranged attacks, you can use one big melee roll. Wait a minute, we're, we're actually gonna get some guns? What? What happened? It's curious that such a capable fixer showed up so early. There are lots of nut cases among fixers, but the blue reverberation is a, on a whole another level. He's a certified lunatic. Is he famous? Oh, he is. He's certainly got skills, even if he's, if he's bonkers. He does appear to be skilled, seeing how he blocked those gunshots. That's why guns aren't too used too often. They're not very effective against actual competent opponents. Now that you mention it, the majority of guests we've had so far didn't carry firearms. Is there any other reason guns aren't used? It's the cost. They're awfully expensive. It's just not worth it most of the time. Guns are pretty... are pricey on their own, but bullets are plain ridiculous, like those poor folks said. Manufacturing bullets must be quite costly. That's true, of course. The biggest factor, though, is the tax the head levied on firearms. Depends on the gun, but two full magazines worth of bullets cost almost the same as a decent gun. Heck, giving your entire office crew augmentation procedures is probably cheaper than keeping enough bullets in stock for them to use. The only map of the city we had was made in MS Paint until the third game, Limbus Corp. Well, I, I, get, I don't really mean like a map of the city. I, I want a map of like the cast uh, of like what, what you know, 
let me try and you know how like in most anime you have uh, a certain kind of like standard or universal metric for uh, determining someone's level of worth you know like oh, like a power level one could say you know like I want to know is is blue reverberation over 9,000 yo over 9,000 was a long time ago by the way I think we're up to like a hundred thousand or something ridiculous but you know what I mean like I want to know where how people relate to each other like where they are on in their own little organization Miss Honan were more of a what? I don't know. The South Koreans were an okay. Nice. <laughs> the cost. Uh, yeah. What's more, workshops aren't even allowed to craft those without a firearms manufacturing license, which is apparently very tricky to get. What do you think is the reason firearms are made so inaccessible? This is just my hunch, but I think they don't want killings to happen too easily. Killing what? People in general. I didn't quite expect the rulers of the city to be humanitarians. Oh, not because the head in a city value human life or anything, obviously. It seems like they have this weird philosophy that the process of a killing of a human killing another shouldn't be trivial or insignificant. How funny. Death can be pretty insignificant even without guns. Well, you aren't wrong there. He's not following us at all. He, has, he isn't following us all the way. It says, uh, if some omnis omniscient person is toying with us. The blue rever Oh man, I can't say this word. The blue reverberation seemed like he knew everything. We should be thankful that we survived somehow. Sorry. I'm just going to call him blue, blue reverb. Don't get too nervous, Stephen. How can I not be nervous? We ended up in the library we know almost nothing about. And uh, you know we're almost out of bullets, right? So what was the point of running away from the blue reverb? Oh, okay, okay. The, 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 I, uh, all right. If we're gonna die here anyway. Head of city is three corps, A, B, C. They rule the city and basically the most powerful ones. They rule over Hannah Association that governs fixers. Hannah gives colors to fixers. Guessing something weird is happening in chat, so can someone clue me in on what's up? <laughs> when we should at least try to die a little a bit later, obviously. Most people call him the blue rever reverb. Even that I struggle with a bit. Humans all die eventually. There's a little there's little loose use in delaying the inevitable. So he's got a point. Don't worry, I'll work it out. Greetings, dear guests. Hello, I'm Steven, soon to be dead and shelved into your bookcases. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My dude. <laughs> care to care to spare a, a, an ounce of self-worth there, my bud? Damn. <laughs> you don't quite appear to be spirited, dear guests. It's ultimately up to you whether you'll become a book or return triumphantly with the ones you need. Yeah, yeah thanks for the kind words. You're ru ruining our mood. Don't mind him, we're in a bit of a hurry right now. We'll just take care of the business here and go back. I understand various guests visit here with their own reasons and purpose. There have been much more impolite guests, so please do not worry about your attitude. I'm getting a bad feeling about this lady. She seems just as eerie as a blue reverb. Maybe just dying to the blue reverb was a better idea than this. Tweet, tweet, tweet. What are you, a parrot? Get inside already. Fine, hothead. May you find your book in this place. That was a very, a lot. That was a lot of story. Yo, is there five more teams? That's a lot of teams. That's a lot of teams considering I only use the one. <laughs> we learned Angela was a dude and these people who are visiting the library were fighting and escaped people who were tearing people. Angela's a dude? When, when was that revelation? Melee page icon, the more common type of combat page. When a melee page clashes against the ranged page, its offensive dice cannot damage the ranged opponent immediately, even if it wins in a clash against their offensive die. However, the melee die will be retained upon winning a clash and moved to the end of the dice queue for reuse. Five more floors, damn. 
Range pages, pages will always be played before melee, regardless of speed, less common combat pages that perform attacks at a distance. Even if the offensive die of a ranged page lo loses in a clash against the offensive die of a melee page, the ranged user will take no immediate damage. However, the may comb opponent's melee die will be retained in this case and moved to the end of the... So, question. Um, bullets and guns cost a lot of money in, in this universe. Do I, if I want to use ranged... Um, like range techniques or, or tactics do i have to worry about that at all is it is that like at all a problem for me and so wouldn't i just like a hundred percent just want to use ranged combat whenever possible i know i like i under obviously understand range is not the end all be all i'm just wondering You mean Arg Argalia? Kevbo mentioned it and tr twins, twins word confirmed. Five major syndicates called Hand. I'm a ten. I appreciate your efforts to try and explain the 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 sort of infrastructure of like where everyone sits and stuff. But that's kind of what I want. Why I want a visual map is because reading it, like I have no idea how to visualize where everyone is. It's not your fault at all. You're doing a great job. But I'm just like I'm 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 what you I'm what you call a visual learner. <laughs> Unga bunga, you know? Good luck you aren't P plus space this one. I am I am P plus spacing though. I am a hundred percent P plus spacing. That's exactly what I've been doing. Seems to be working, to be honest. Blue boy is in fact a boy. Is that was that what had chat? Never mind. I'm gonna eat my words. <laughs> you sure are. Reading the purposely obfuscated DBZ style power levels of this translated from Korean game isn't really easy to follow. Amen to that, Bimple. <laughs> yeah. Yasad is a at the peak of unga bunga. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah it is. And I'm gonna I'm gonna unga bunga this entire game, folks. I'm sorry. That Ste Stefan fellow turned into a book just as he expected. It's kinda sorry to see him keep railing at the world till the end. Who isn't a visual learner? I that's the joke. The the I'm a visual learner meme is kind of uh, I think f almost fully debunked at this point. Most people learn uh like there there are just like um understood universal ways of learning things better that most people actually use but um because they can be interpreted in certain ways it feels like they're learning uh i don't know how to put it visual learning is is a is a is a not it doesn't work it's it's not a not a correct term really who is an official learner Peak of Unga Bunga is Gabura. Do you think it's wrong to blame the world? Oh no, nothing wrong with that. It's not like I think he was weak-willed for putting the blame on this world for his miseries. It's just that I pity myself for living in that same world. I'm sorry that I keep tying, trying not to fault this world. I curse this world. Same, to be honest. Can enjoy a good old plus 20 overspeed. Wait, I'm not using the Asad. I'm using Keter. What is the... I was about to ask a complicated question there that really there would be no good answer for. Pages from this office will help you bully some fights and abnormalities. Yo, it's Hotline Miami! Plus, uh, plus that one metronomy... No, not metronomy. Uh, Caravan Palace. Uh, music video that everyone loves. 
Yawn, today's performance isn't going too well. Oink, you better keep, you gotta keep the beat. I like how he, he's committed to the bit. <laughs> District 9 is the sacred ground for music. It's the homeland of the pianist. Come on, man. I'm doing my best here. Are you still bothered by what Hiha said? Oh, wait a minute. He wasn't saying oink. He was talking to Mo oink. Oink is the name of the fellow with the mask. Got it. Are you still bothered by what Hiha said? Of course I am. This might be our last performance ever if we go to the library. Hey guys, it's uh, Squid Game. R re remember Squid Game? Where everyone had a funny mask um, and, and, and uh, talked funny? Wait, that's the wrong button. There we go. I took a screenshot. Oops. To shake off all of your worries with the excited music. If I was a rich billionaire and watched people um die in a sport game i would definitely have a pumpkin mask did bimple big actually just reference caravan palace what caravan palace still makes music caravan palace they they made that one music video that gets shared more than any other music video ever where, you know, the one, the one where they go to the nightclub and the cats and they kill the dogs and it's a strip club and everyone dies. Oh boy, I love that music video. Can you hear it in my voice how much I love that music video? It's a good song. Yeah, I enjoyed that song. Just shake off all your worries with the excited music. Oink, if you keep getting distracted by concerns like that and half-ass your part, I'm going to use you as my instrument. Ooh. Seconded. There's a, a something weird about how um, women are drawn in this game. Just saying. We can't let some little thoughts disturb our performance already. You guys are still new, so you'll you have no idea the triples we had to go through to perform back in my day. Yeah, that was kind of my point, that one music video is the only thing the internet shares of theirs, and it's like six years old. You know... The thing that um, I, <laughs> RGB sharing one of his classic hot takes, Squid Game is bad. That's not what he said, but it's the crux of what he said. Um, I, I used to listen, I listened to Caravan Palace a lot before that music video came out, and then I heard basically nothing else since then from them. I know they did a couple of music videos after that and also released a couple albums, but um, it's basically just been that one music video a lot <clears throat> but I like Caravan I like Caravan Palace too I just that one music video it's kind of like the um, feel good ink of Caravan Palace do you know what I mean by that uh, it's like that one song got overshared so much that it's the only thing that people recognize that band for and therefore they did nothing else thank goodness that uh, you know David Alburn did not allow gorillas to just become the feel good ink uh you know factory but uh i don't know i can't i don't know if i can say the same for caravan palace um i heard these pages are really good but i didn't use them because i do, did sh right left oh i see i didn't like the squid game show and then children happened what? Okay. Doodle Doo, Woof, Woof, and Hee formed this band and devoted all of our time to music so that he can, we could recreate the beautiful, beautiful performance we listened to on that fateful day. So quit gawking and concentrate on the music. The pianist performance, yes I know. I left the Seven Association Section 3 and joined the, this band because I just couldn't forget that sweet melody. I also like uh, Oink's voice actor. It's it's doing it for me. I wanted to make music like that myself, even if it meant I have to give up everything I had. Yeah, remember the enchanting tune that echoed through the whole city? I like how a rabbit face looks angry. That grand and majestic piano. Piano! <laughs> Yeah, that's true, I'm a tan. You did it. <clears throat> nice. That grand and majestic piano made of 100,000 people. 
the lovely sound created from each stroke of the tendons. <clears throat> Children made it so I can't look anywhere without the either Squid Game music or candy being there. Candy? It made me realize how beautiful the sounds a human can make in the hands of the right performance. Especially, uh, sorry, performer. Especially the ensemble with fixtures at the finale. At the end of that intense concerto, concerto, the fixtures became one with the piano. Piano. <laughs> and assimilated into the music. Now I wish I could have been there. How I wish I could have been there. Ahem. Speaking as someone who watched the performance right at the scene, the finale was so wonderful, you know. The musical score and notes literally unraveled before my eyes. Why does this hands, uh, woman's hands look weird? They're rough, I'll grant you. The fixers ran across the score and chain charged at the pianist. They were buried under the notes one by one, their bodies blowing up. But they couldn't die there, they became part of the piano, <laughs> spewing out fragrant notes. At the la and the last fixer standing was taken apart carefully, making the most splendid sound imaginable as gorgeous red notes scattered from their body. Jesus. The performance, the heavenly music that pierced me. Well, but then the black silence intervened and cut off the pianist's hands and head, a total mood killer. I wanted to be part of that performance too. I'm so jealous. I had to just sit in my uh, office and listen to the music coming from a distance. Why are we still teaching kids Newtonian physics? It's stupid. It was proven wrong over 100 years ago. Why? Um, can you give me an example of a Newtonian physics that are taught that are incorrect in a, a way that um, my puny pumpkin brain could understand? AI drawn art? There's no way. There's no way the art is AI drawn. Don't tell me that. Actually, the last booboo you see in this game. Bizarre. Boohoo. I wanted to do it too. I wanted. I want to make music that's half as good as the pianists. But look at me. No matter how much I smash the ankle bones, pluck the tendons, and scrape flesh from the splint bones of my instruments, I can't even get close to it. And hee-haw and doodle-doo said things. No, Oink. There's no need to be so impatient. It's true that we still have a long way to go before we can perform like the pianist did. But we are getting close, you see. If we pour our heart and soul into our performance every day, we'll be able to make it one day. All of it. All right, well. A performance by Doodle Doo, Hee Haw, and Woof was wonderful, wasn't it? Yeah, the three gave a fantastic performance. They went on a trip to prepare, prepare for the next, so we won't get to hear it again for a while, though. Uh, don't say that. I'll stop showing up until two hours into the stream. <laughs> Will I get to perform like that someday? Of course, let's discuss this again after we finish this performance and handle the library job Hee Haw gave us. She said, what is that behind her? Is that like a harp made of blood? There's going to be a performance bigger than ever, and we might find new instruments in the library, you know? I don't think that's what a library is for. I don't know, unless you can play a book. Someone just like slapping two books together. I'm doing it. I'm making music. Let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. Why don't we perform in a supermarket next time? Oink likes supermarkets, right? I'm in too. It's fun to mess around with all kinds of instruments in supermarkets. Why is this guy's name uh, Moo Moo? Thanks, Meow. Thanks, Moo Moo. I'll practice harder. All right. Gear up, everyone. Looks like the pianist left a whole bunch of nut jobs in its wake. Lying, it's lying to kids. Uh, all our known physics are flawed. They are tools to work with, not the ultimate truth. But, but Santa Claus is real, right guys? Right? I really enjoy their costume designs. I also, like, I do enjoy their designs. Um, there's just something about uh, the 
the way they draw the the booba as Chad is putting it that looks a little bit like uh like it's defying Newtonian physics if I could put it over. you know from break and ruin the most beautiful performance begins what are you interested in listening to the pianist music no way I've heard that kind of music more than enough times there was another dotty musician like the pianist it's similar, but not exactly the same. How about you? Did you hear the pianist music for yourself? Duh. It'd be a lot faster to count the people in the city that didn't hear that damn sound. Its music didn't just pierce me, it's, it almost ravaged my whole being. And then, well, never mind. I don't want to remember that performance again. Don't rab it. Kind of make a moo-moo sound noises sometimes. Is that... is that... what, what the... okay. Musicians are all multo vives. Vive what is that word? I thought you said you watched anime bimpo, yet you're somehow saying these boobs look weird. Um, well, I could get into that if you really want. Um, it's my least favorite part of anime. Uh, and it's the, the only thing that keeps me from recommending it to others. And it's also the one thing that uh, basically makes it makes me ashamed to be an anime fan i'm not kidding i think it's the number one thing that keeps anime from growing up and uh basically uh excelling or uh what, 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 what would you call it you know it, it, it's keeping anime down from being uh something um, um, resembling some kind of elevated form of, of work or story uh, it's I think it's one of the, the main reasons why people don't take anime in any way like seriously and I'm not talking about anime fans obviously they take it seriously but they're willing to ignore that and or they enjoy that which you know to each their own but I think from an outsider's perspective it's the most juvenile part of the entire medium um but with that being said I I can ignore it and enjoy because I do enjoy a good story um, and a good, uh, you know, a battle of good versus evil is always fun. Number one thing why you shouldn't recommend anime is the child thing. Yeah. I mean, that's basically in the same camp. It's, it's, you know, fan service is fan service. Won't lie, everything Bimple just said about... Why is the shame of being an anime fan? Is it one hundred percent factual? I, I I am I'm being a hundred percent genuine and honest. I, I I I love anime. I really do. I like you, you should see my shelf. I don't actually have that much. I don't own that much manga, but I do own a bit of you know manga. I'm a, a huge Tezuka fan. Like Tezuka is they they are the progenitor of a lot of today's staple. Uh, stories, tropes, uh, insanely, insanely um, prodigious, and uh, they, they've written, they wrote some of the best stuff ever, and they did not resort to having weird fan service. It was, it was classy, you know, like it had an air of romance to it, without having weird, just weird juvenile kind of like fan service. So, uh, I, I'm used to, I would say. Uh, and to put it really pretentiously, I'm used to the best, and I just think that it, it always stops uh, a show from being, I don't know, adult when they resort to cashing that check. You're not allowed to spend my $7 coffee on manga or anime. I spend $2 a month on, uh, on Shonen Jump so I can read as much of manga as I want and I have uh, basically I, I no longer buy comics because there's no point I'm, I read most of my stuff online not that I have to explain myself but you know to, out of curiosity Tezuka the industry leading washing conglomerate Tezuka Osamu Tezuka or Tezuka if you like I know that no it's it's not Tezuka it's T E Z or Z U K A. Uh, they are best known for creating Astro Boy, though I though I, I think Astro Boy is one of their weakest works, because I am a <laughs> because I am a, a contrarian uh, when it comes to very niche topics that no one cares about. 
Um, but they, they've created a lot of stuff. Um, Blackjack, Phoenix, a uh, lot, lot of stuff. MW, I don't know. Tusuka, no. Anyway, musicians are all multivivas in the head. <clears throat> they seem to love performance that leads to doom, indeed. Guess they're living in their own world that no one else can understand. We've completed one mission in this game, and it has been sandwiched between two very large slices of story bread. Not that I'm complaining, but it has felt like a lot. Cat goes. Meow, meow. meow. <laughs> Pig goes. <laughs> Good. Good. Rabbit goes. Squeak, squeak. This is so sad. Greetings, dear guests. I am the direct... Moo Moo, don't be so down. But rabbits don't have any signature cry sounds. Then we can make one. Good idea. Everyone. What a load of nonsense. Why are you just standing there, bluey hair? Aren't you gonna let us in? I have small chicken breast smooth brain, so I don't get what you were talking about, bot plays. Uh... I mean, that's not... There's a good chance that general relativity is an absolute truth. Uh, I have no idea what chat is talking about. Much like most streams, chat is on a on a some kind of kick that I have no idea <laughs> what it what it means. Stupid little machine, don't keep your guests waiting. What? <laughs> Look at it stumble. It's got red blood too. Oh, they actually hurt her. Damn. It can bleed, but the inside is still a bunch of metallic junk, not a good vibe. Hurry up and let us in before we break your legs. Wow. That's That was mean. Exposition? I don't know if that's true. I don't think that is true. I don't know if there was much exposition there. I mean, there was a, there's a little bit, but it's it's mostly like kind of side plots. Uh, okay, they must have rabbits in South Korea because rabbits. Yo, there's a squirrel on my balcony. Yo, hey, squirrel friend. It was right up against my window. Percy, did you see the squirrel? Percy, look at the squirrel! He's on the chair, look! Look at the squirrel! Look, you're not looking! Stop looking at me! Look at the other way! Look, look over there! <laughs> My cat is not looking! Look at the squirrel! Uh. Oh, this is going to be a long battle. Ouch. Ouch. I might uh I might not be able to win this one actually. I might need to uh upgrade my my deck. Ouch! Hit her. Ouch. Okay, staggered. That's bad. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is not going well. Hey, Vild. Observe the squirrel. Um, okay, so Roland is about to die, there's no question. Stagger him, please. No! Nice. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull out the the big stop. Um, 
We lose. Increase max HP by 15%. Gain two speed. Let's give that to Roland for a moment. Oh, that didn't really do much for him at all. Uh We need to we need to stop this guy. I I think that I think that guy's dead. Pig dude is very tanky. They're dead. Oh no, they they lived. Please kill rabbit. Good. Actually doable. I can throw some starter decks your way. I might appreciate that. If I survive this combat, then uh, I might do some. Uh, I might configure, reconfigure our deck. It's look. Things are turning out around a little bit. Yes. Okay. I I think we are gonna win this now. With the Kuro, Kumo, and Musicians of Brumen, you certainly have a lot more options. Done. Curtain call for the reception of Musicians of Bremen. Can't possibly shift P this one. <laughs> he did it. He did it. Is there a second scene? Well, what? Angela, what's going on? That's blood. I thought you were a pure machine. I am surprised as well. That much impact shouldn't have made me flinch either. You alright? Does it hurt bad? I'm still fine. Now I see how much it hurts to get hit. Could it be that you're getting closer to being human? It may be one of the signs that I'm approaching my freedom. There's no need to be worried just yet. Finally, uh, final blow. Yeah, you did it. Nice. Um, Alright, let me tweak Cater. Uh, and yeah, if you want to throw me some deck suggestions in chat, I would definitely be open to that. Is there a way to reset like all combat decks so that I just get all the pages back? It has the same energy as people die if they are killed. <laughs> uh, ooh, that, this looks like a good card. All dice on this page lose two power. So this card gets worse the more you use it, huh? Whose original cost is four or lower, including counter dice. So this is a decent card. Uh, I, I should burn some books, yeah. Burn some books, book burning time. Don't burn all the books, just some of the books. Which books should we burn? I'll leave one of each. Okay. Um, should I burn these ones as well? Remember when I burned all the books? Okay, got Yang's page, got a bunch of pages, uh, Leiwei's page, could be good, Mumu's page, um, I don't know if we got any ranged cards, Bizarre Attack, <clears throat> we'll make Fine Silk, oh we got our first four, co four cost card, Tamaki page, Indiscriminate Shots, times three, I hate CQC, times three, take the shot, times three, passive speed, one, 
Uh, oh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, I don't know if I got any ranged cards. Oh, I did get some. Okay, there's one. Uh, I did get... Okay, I got enough for your deck suggestion. Can I put this on, uh, this deck on, uh, K-Tier? Tamaki page. Alright, let's, uh, I'll throw that on your, your page. Your, your, your nugget. Let's do that. What do you currently have equipped? Okay, Tamaki page. Let's I'll get you a Tamaki page. I'm not seeing Tamaki page, actually. Can I search for it? You didn't get her. Your nugget build is good? Okay. What about Void? I didn't get Tamaki. Should I grind uh, Tamaki? Rip gotcha failed. I wish that mod had worked. I tried to- I installed it correctly and I-, I the requirements that it had. Um, I think that this one, this page is not great, or not, I wouldn't say, uh, great, it's, it's not correct. It's not, it hasn't been updated in a while. So I'll just give it, uh, one of these guys, because they, they, they are okay. They've got some good stuff. Why did they stay, what? I'm trying to figure out if any of these guys have more than one dice. But it looks like they only have the one dice. I'll give him Moo Moo's page. Uh, alright, let me see here. Indiscriminate shots. I'm looking. I'm assuming it's a... Oh, ranged only, so we can't do it if we don't have Tamaki's page. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's take some, like, I'll take some high-cost stuff. I could try and do this scratch that all dice on this page lose two power. Guess could go well on Netsack's floor. Do like rampage. Rampage has does one of each damage. Now I have to play even more inscription. Let's go for like full bleed. Inflicting feeble to a random. I could go like full um like inflict uh statuses for this character. On a successful blunt attack, deal one to two bonus damage. After successful blunt attack, inflict one fragile to a random enemy. Okay, that's actually... Maybe we should go more uh, blunt damage. Could do, like, strong strike. And then, um... Shrine to music. Give one strength to two random enemies, or allies. Uh, that seems like a good one, actually. Seems like a really good one. Actually, let's uh, take off one of these other ones. Do another one of those. And we'll make fine silk. Add one to th add fascinating fabric to each other's hands. What does that do? Uh, gain one plus one power for each page in hand. Um, actually, let's not take that. Alright, let's, uh, I need some one costs. 
Gamble. Discard a page with the lowest cost. I don't want that. Give one endurance to all allies next scene. I like this one. I think these are good. Alright. I'm gonna go with this for Void. Roland. Roland probably needs an update. Roland is giving protection to allies. I can cook anything is probably outdated at this point. He's also rolling with uh, Guardian, so it uh, tells me that that is pretty good. I'll take out Deflect and throw in something new. Give one. Oh, what is he? What is he doing? Deal one stagger damage against enemies with slower speed. Blunt stagger damage. Plus one, so um, he's also doing blunt damage. Give one strength to a random ally. I like the, okay, we'll add in like red notes. And I wanna give him something a bit, uh, I wanna take out, I can cook with anything. Or I can cook anything, I don't I don't think that that is uh, viable as much anymore. Inflict three burn, deal three damage to self. This might be better. On how to get your mod working, make sure that the library ruin a library managed folder doesn't have Oh, Harmony DLL or any mono.cecil or mono mod. I can send you what to do in Steam DM. Okay, I'll have a quick look after I've uh, stopped. We're gonna shut down uh, library pretty soon. I know there hasn't been a lot, but you know, I'm sorry. Um, let's take out. I'm gonna take out Commandeering and put in a Shocking Blow, which seems to be just a lot of damage. Potentially a lot of damage. It's 4 to 12. And we're doing Blunt. So I guess I'll take out um, Gut Harvesting as well. Put in another Shocking Blow. Uh, and let's do... We'll make Fine Silk. And uh, I want one more good Blunt damage. Inflict one Feeble to two random enemies. This is actually a really good card. Okay, let's put in that one and take out... Um, we'll make fine silk, and I'll put in another heavy, heavy peaks. Next stream is train trauma. I, uh, I appreciate that y'all have been patient with the, like, very molasses slow pace of Library of Ruina. Cost six. Is this the cost six the limitation of the Mars page? Pretty sure it is, right? Uh, let me do one more. I'm gonna do one more invitation. Well, just just to compare how we're doing. Is it RoboQuest any good? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have that game yet. Can't wait for Train Drama. The molasses slow pace is just fine. I can have this going to listen to and chat, and while I play Kotor 2 on my Switch or Inscription. I don't I have no idea what's going on in this game anyway. All right, that's fair. All right, we'll do we'll do one more, and then I'm gonna go to the next uh, portion. I've prepared your usual tea, Master. Thank you, Philip. Master, good grief! This is what I must hear from my old friend. This tea has a strong aroma and taste today. I like it. Thank you for your compliment, sir. What is the news you received from your old friend, if I may ask? Uh, Philip, have you heard of the library? Yes, although I know little uh, about it other than it's an urban legend. It has recently been ex exalted to an urban plague, and it appears that this vise at Section 6 fell victim to it. Then the old friend of yours is... Yes, it's Walter. He seems to have fallen in the library. Foolish old pal, he struggled so much trying to rise up the ranks, and yet this is how he ends. I'm sorry for your loss. I heard he was your colleague back in Zvi. It must be heartbreaking. So, <clears throat> am I right in, in understanding... Because I haven't really fully understood how the invitation works. Like, how is it... Why are we inviting these specific people? Is it because that we've already incorporated someone related to them? Like, a, a friend or colleague? And so that kind of gets them frustrated enough with the, the library that there's a like a somehow a desire to to go to the library and then the invitation kind of finds them is that sort of what's going on because like um 
is it, that's sort of like how we're working our way up the food chain is where like you know we'll, we we kill a couple minions and then the the masters of those minions are like oh you killed my minions i don't like that so then they get an invitation and then those masters have masters and people related to them and then we just kind of like continue to kind of work through the chain of people my heart is unscathed boy i never was fond of walter <laughs> Pardon? He didn't quite have the potential to be a capable man. He seemed clever, but his thoughts were one-dimensional. Yes, basically, it is like you say. His habits of making rhetorical questions. Goodness, that was the... That, was that annoying? Although I suppose he did have some talent, seeing as he managed to stay in Section 6 without getting demoted further. Perhaps it was severe, fair, or mere luck. I'm sick of this smell of saying <laughs> I'm tired of these people these their 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 lies oh what was it what's the what's the what's the line damn it it's even stronger today hello see on bay hey Philip see it looks like you're getting better at making tea day by day huh he certainly is Philip is an expert when it comes to burving shang out shang wa cha Maybe I should learn from him so that I can make some for my wife. Thank you. Cut it out with that awkward smile. You didn't join our office to make tea all day. Erratus is on sale. I, uh, I bought a game recently with the intention to stream it um, and or do a series on it. And I kind of don't want to... I guess I should mention what it is because I want to know maybe how people feel about it because um you know i'm in interested let me see erratus I, that that really rings a bell oh i i have apparently ignored this game why have i ignored this game because it is a turn-based game much like darkest dungeon and i was not a huge fan of that that, that is why however it is six dollars chat would i like this game if i was not a huge fan of uh, darkest dungeon not too bad, it's definitely not as great as Dankus Dungeon, in my opinion, but it's still super solid. Guy, uh, chat, I, I bought The Forgotten City. Please, no spoilers in chat, I have intentionally kept myself from uh, knowing anything about it. Is this a game would, you would like to see me play? Or, my fear is that anyone who knows what The Forgotten City is either wants to play it for themselves and therefore would not actually want to see me play it or they've already seen it they know all the gimmicks about it and therefore watching me would actually not be very interesting that's my fear about the forgotten city if you didn't like the Ancus Dun dungeon which is blasphemy i doubt you'd like erratus hmm. yuna philip has shown excellent results in the field as well he's become a proud grade 5 fixer now to meh, best thing about it is that it has rat in the name. <laughs> the Frog City, Forgotten City. Forgotten City is, um, it's it's a little bit like um, Outer Wilds in that it has a story which is very spoilable, and it's much it's a very narrative based game. Not in that it has a lot of stuff to read, but it has a lot of things to discover. That have uh, that are all connected to like uh, a singular plot, but it's uh, kind of about um, uh, exploring a Roman city or just Rome, and then there's a slight time travel uh, mechanic, I believe. But I've tried my best not to know too much because it is a game I know that you can only really discover once. Trombone champ, please. The Forgotten City is the Roman one, yes. Seems interesting, a bit like pathologic. Rat says hi. It's fairly short though. If his Shang Shangwa or Sangwa Cha expertise counted towards grade evaluations, he would have easily become a grade one and, and gotten a color too. Is, if he were to receive a color, perhaps it would be bright yellow, much like the hue of this egg yolk floating atop the tea. It's also the color of Forcia, my favorite flower. Or Scythia. Please stop with the silly jokes, Master. Philip needs a trusty role model. Forgotten City is great. I've never heard I'm a 10 be that enthusiastic about a game. 
Not even Library of Ruina. <laughs> I think it's a good chat game. Really? Wow. That's, this is promising. I've heard great things about it, but I haven't played it yet myself. It'd be fun to watch and save me a few bucks. So chat is surprising me. Um, I, I figured that this was a game that people would not want for me, but I'm happy to know, like I was gonna, I, I've been looking forward to it, so I, I would like to stream it. Um, it won't happen for a bit, but I won't play it on my own, knowing that chat would like to, to watch that from me. Anyway, I've taken care of the request regarding the Thousand Needles. Wow, you're impressive, Sanbei. Solving an urban legend class request on your own. It was kind of dangerous at the end. I don't know where they got it, but they started merging into one using a brain stem focus resonator. Is tea with eggs in it? I've heard of that. The building started melting. Needle needles kept pouring out of that lump like crazy. People struck by those needles started exploding and creating chaos. It was awful. Kaneda! Tatsuo! Culprit behind that was... Yes, it was yesterday's promises expected. Yeah, that seemed to be the case. I didn't want to believe it, but it looks like the magic really does exist. It looks like magic really does exist. Strange symbols and stuff were carved onto every needle. I haven't heard, even heard of any other amplification device that can do that, not from my knowledge at least. You've dealt with it and came back alive. You are the pride of our office, Yuna. Feels like I'm the only working member though. And monthly rent is rather intimidating since our office is in the nest. You know the request I just did won't be enough to cover it, right? We all know that Forgotten City is okay. <laughs> No need to worry about our financial situation. <clears throat> I've received a request that could keep us afloat for three months. Is that an urban plague class job or something? You saw that Pluto guy, skeleton dude? That's yesterday's promise. Oh, okay. It word. Yeah. It is indeed. Urban plague? What is it about? Our office going alone? It's the library. I tried contacting the wedge office, but they seemed to be busy with their own work. Thus, we will take uh, be taken care of it by ourselves for now besides this request was directly assigned to us by this via association i won't lie i like the idea of forgotten city because after library of ruin of the idea of a guy of a game with a story i can actually follow sounds brilliant i can explain to you everything that's happening kevbo just say the word um spicy take on her name was fire what is that that's my spicy take what what is that her name was fire it's a five dollar game Oh, my spicy take is I'm really sick and tired of survivor likes. <laughs> I'm really, really tired of it. Even if they're good. Even if they're amazing, I'm tired of them. Like, don't don't get me wrong. I'll come back to, like, Soul... Uh, what was that game? Soul Strike Saga? What was it called? Soul... Uh, so many games. D Soulstone Survivors. I'll come back to Soulstone Survivors. You know, I have room in my life for like maybe 10 survivor likes, but just, god damn, there's too many and they're all exactly the same. Like they have a couple of mechanic tweaks and sure, you know, absolutely that makes them valid. But I just like, come on, come on, dude, stop it, stop. It's so, like there's already too many really good games to play right now. Like I'm juggling like 10 really amazing games and, and I'm also trying to like cover games that people haven't heard of that it came out like years ago, like a decade ago. There's just an unfathomable number of really good games. So why, just speaking for myself, why am I going to waste my time? And it really does feel like a waste of time playing a game that is essentially a carbon copy of like six other games. Take a look at Relipies. All right. Hold on a second. Not giving anyone in chat a hard time. And, and please do not take that as a don't recommend survivor likes to Bimple because he hates them. That's not what's happening here. You 100% recommend me um, uh, a game you think that, that I would like or does something different-ish. Um, even one that maybe doesn't do anything different. So I'm seeing relapse. Is that what you mean? Uh, Casey's mod is pretty good. Uh, 
what happened in yesterday's promise i am sorry a little lost the word okay hold on uh that that he said the he said the word seems like a copy of a copy with a little twist but nothing original let's come back to deck builders it took you a long time take a look look at relapse i'm, I'm looking at relapse uh okay If this game is a, uh, um, I mean, if it if it's worth its weight, it's five dollars and it looks like a decent uh, Slay the Spire like. Um, I am also kind of burnt out on Slay the Spire likes, but I'd be willing to take a look at it. It's on sale for for five bucks right now. Sounds like Raid Shadow Legends. I don't even know what kind of game Raid Shadow Legends is. Can we talk for a moment about... I've heard about Raid Shadow Legends like nonstop for years now. I have no idea what kind of game it is. What is it? Is it any kind of... Is it just a gotcha machine? Is that what it is? Tell me. I don't even know what the hell a survivor like is. How can something be a survivor like? If it's like Vampire Survivors, and you know you know what it is. Like, first of all, uh, Survivor like is mostly indicated by the fact that it's going to be three to five dollars Canadian, so probably like two dollars for you or one dollar. Or in I'm a Tan, my Tan's case, cannot buy it. Or in Andrino's case, probably like twenty dollars. You know, like it's really it's really cheap, is what I'm saying. Um. The second indicator of a survivor like is that it's a bullet hell except you are the bullet hell. You are firing bullets all over the place and killing enemies all over the place and then you you get the you get the, get the cool juice like, level up and then you get the and you get the upgrade and the upgrade makes <clears throat> makes you even more flashy and powerful and oh my god. And then uh you know yeah. I thought you were saying survivor as like as a genre. No, no, no. Spell defender. Bimple go burr. Um, spell survivor. Is that the one I did? I play that one already. I can't. I don't know what that one. is. It spell book. Didn't I play that one? Spell book. Demon slayers. Is that the one you're talking about? How did Miss? Will miss all raid ads. What? Arrival Zero Earth. <laughs> Andrino. Yo, Andrino. <laughs> Arrival Zero Earth. Apparently I have seen this game and I actually ignored it. Like that's that's where I'm at. I did see this game and I, I put it on my ignore list. Uh, I'll tell you, um, I think the, the the straw that broke the camel back the camel's back for me it was actually Spellbook. Spellbook Demon Slayers. Um, I played the demo for this game and it just felt like exactly the same game. And I just didn't have the heart to do it anymore i'll tell you the last really good survivor like i played and i really enjoyed it and i would even play it play more of it was neophyte fight spelt p-h-y-t-e it's really good it's actually really excellent because it's like very short um the abilities in it are very fun and and kind of they're original and they're they're very crunchy and and fun to look at and uh, i enjoyed that one a lot I was a big and important as Bimple to actually use the ignore option on Steam. I hope it's Spectral Mall. Maybe. Big Into the Gloom may be a good second segment game. I could do that. Up to up to chat. 
Perhaps they deemed that they need an office proficient in combat for this job. Got it. I'll make some calls then. Please do, Yuna. This is going to be my first time handling an urban plague class case. That is true, Philip. I know this is your first time with an urban plague class request, but try to loosen up a bit. Think of it as a learning experience. Watch how I or Yuna act on the field. I love so much that live stream in The Sims. <laughs> Appreciate you, bud. Lo love you, bud. Love you, Andrino. Must have seen over 100 raid ads by now. To be honest, I haven't seen that many raid ads. I haven't even seen that many raid Shadow Legends prom like um, sponsors. Because I don't really watch those kind of YouTubers. Most YouTubers I watch, they'll do ray Raycons. They'll do Raycons and they'll do... Uh, they might do uh, a VPN one. But it, like that is fine. It's it's whatever. God, I hate Philip. Okay, if we get this job done, why don't we throw a party at your house like the last time, Gramps? You surely have ways to get yourself fed, you know. You know how much I love to eat, don't you, Gramps? And your cooking is awesome. I notice she has an instrument. Do, do people use music to fight in this universe? House party, huh? Why the long face, Philip? Got too nervous to take on an urban plague? Since me and a buddy are going to get to going to the gun range after work tomorrow, I can't stay up super late. Okay. It's nothing. Well, all right then. I'll be preparing first. So, how about a small conversation between the two of us once this job is done? Sure. It seemed as if you had concerns in your mind. Understood, sir. That Gramps is still doing fixer work. You know him? It's nothing huge. I came across him a few times in the past and owed him some favors. And he's one of the veterans, too. He made his bones to a degree in the smoke war when he was younger. He did seem to have many connections. Although he's washed up now, just like me. He seems to be very much better than you, though. Oh, did you really have to stab me with those facts? The interior is pretty slick. Reminds me of the factory we raided as part of the Midnight Pancreas Burgers request. Please, I don't want to be reminded of that case. I'm not seeing any similarities here. I mean, that factory was also pretty clean and moody for a place where terrible things. Oh, Philip? I almost got to retaste re the Sangwa Cha I drank a bit ago. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Greetings, dear guests. A pleasure to meet you. You must be Angela. Yes, I am the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Tell me, what should we do to kill you? I'd like to know that as well, huh? I see, I see. You have the capability for casual banter, hmm? Let's cut the chat short, shall we, master? Now, Angela, do not hope to meet a peaceful and after imbruing your hands in so much blood. I believe the same can be said of you. May you find your book in this place, then. Drows off to Bimple Sweet Soothing Canadian ASMR voice. Um, so, let me attempt to explain this game's story for you. And then Imatan can, can tell me how wrong I am. Um, there was a game called Lobotomy L Corp. And that game takes place in this universe. And was the kind of the prequel. Uh, it, it wasn't a prequel because it was first. So anyway, this is a sequel to L Corp. L Corp was a game about making monstrosities and uh, sort of anomalies. It was kind of like if um, SCP was a management sim. So you're you're trying to instead of like just contain weird anomalies, you're trying to create them. Anyway, uh, your assistant in that game was Angela, and uh, eventually, if you win at L Corp, because it is a very challenging game, you created an uh, abnormal. Anomaly so dangerous that it kind of uh, ends the world in a weird way, or at least it almost does. And then uh, someone stopped it, which I guess we found out was this thing called the silence. Anyway, uh, that ending the world had reverberations throughout the world, and uh, everyone kind of became slightly anomalous, uh, violent, dangerous ish. But uh, the world as it is is very kind of. A kitchen sink dystopia of many many different sci-fi concepts you know like tra teleporting trains through wormholes or something I don't know everything is like an SCP concept um, the library that Angela is in um, she's 
trying to become human or find her like you know she's she's trying to escape the library i think as much as anyone else uh and i think the library itself is an anomaly all of her assistants are robots that were helping in l corp i think that's something i'm a little hazy on myself and uh in order to become human or like escape this anomaly of the library they have to make the library as dangerous as possible meaning they have to we have to kill people by turning them into books um, so we're doing that by sending invitations to people and then send, killing them and then killing people related to that person until we work up uh, the the roster of various corporations kind of like corporations like L Corp so they are also anomalous doesn't have anything about the world big does a good job at explaining so I think that is mostly it. Um, how and why Angela will become human or escape the library is a little bit unknown. How it relates to, you know, killing, say, an unknown person is kind of unknown. We just know that that's how it's going to work. Most of the robots were, I think, human and then were kind of brain transported into a robot. Um, and now I have become helpers and uh, we really basically don't know much about Roland except that he was a, a fixer and a fixer is just another word for like a semi-assassin um, who work for these corporations and they're all megacorp um, kill fascist near I don't know they're the, the whole the, everything's messed up there you go library is her ego anomaly you can use and not fully distort to it what are we talking about now i'm trying to explain this game as it is now i guess i kind of follow yeah it feels like even with the summary there's just a redonkulous amount of unanswered questions i'm doing my best with very much half of the picture um what i've understood so far it's it's a kitchen sink universe we have people who are kill like we have machines that are not quite human killing people to make silk out of their blood and organs which is already like what uh you know we have people on the street who are killing people for fun uh we have people killing with instruments i think maybe and then we have like guns and bullets that cost like you have to put a mortgage on your house um doesn't know the full story right either right now story here is very slow burn it is slow burn but i do appreciate the little micro stories that are happening along the way so uh, that's i think it's a good way a good way of world building is um have a have an overarching story and world that kind of you know to fill in the gaps but also um you gotta have like relatable or interesting micro stories to kind of keep you on your toes Slow burn like melting chocolate. Yeah, this game is like a fondue. I I appreciate kitchen sink universes, honestly. I think it's a it's a fun way to make a, a world. Cause like, why not? You know, what's better than one interesting concept? Many. <laughs> Hit him. Hit him. Yes. Kill him. Kill. No. Will Bimple finally be forced to stop at his space plus P strats? We'll find out next time on Pimple Ball Z. <laughs> so far, so good. As someone is staggered. Next fight up this route will kick your ass.
let's see if Imasan eats his words. Oh no. It's kind of it's kind of kicking my butt right now, I will say. No. Okay, I think I'm about to die. Yeah, I am about to die. That's game over. <laughs> All right. That's fine. All right. That's a good place to stop. Uh, I'm gonna hit the washroom real quick, and then I, if if Chad is cool with it, we're gonna do into the gloom. Curtains closed. Bow bow bow, bow bow bow. All right, BRB. One moment, please. We could drop pimple ball Z, yo.